Hi there, I'm Curtis Russell. I'm a Territory Sales Manager Northeast to Regina and uh, this is the UCAN2. Uh, we're going to go through a, a bunch of steps today but uh, before we get started I just wanted to say please wear proper safety gear, follow all label uh, recommendations when working with seed treatment and please respect it. Um, we're working with all clean parts here today so that's why I'm dressed inappropriately by not wearing safety glasses or, or even a long sleeve shirt. So. We want you to have a great experience, hopefully a clean experience, and um, at the end you've got nice, clean, treated grain. I'm going to show you today some tips and tricks to make it go a little bit quicker, a little bit easier, and um, all this that I'm talking about today is available in the manual, but we thought we would, you know, make your lives a little bit simpler. So, first thing is your manual. This is your 3 8 hose that will go to the auger. This here is your throttle plate. This will be what helps you regulate the flow of your auger. Here is your suction and discharge hoses. Discharge hoses. So these here those are identical lengths so you can't get those wrong or mix those up. Here is your parts bag. Everything you're going to need that isn't you know obviously a big hose or something is in there. Here is your valve assembly. That's what you use to regulate your seat treatment and your flow. Here is the pump and the UCAN to the whole brains of the operation. Actually, we'll leave that out. Here's for your suction side of the pump. And these are for clean out. So for right now, you don't need these. You can put them back in the box. Okay, so the valve assembly, as you can see, it's kind of, it's all fixed. So one little thing that a lot of people don't realize or is, seems a little bit silly is you actually have to put 10 wraps of Teflon on this side. The reason that is is because you want it to tighten up on you and being that the the orientation is kind of tough to do um, the Teflon just gives you that wiggle room to make sure you can so it's one five and ten you want to make sure that you're not getting any extra Teflon around here. It'll just end up in your filter, but, um, or it could end up back in the pump if it circulates. Okay, so take your valve assembly and thread it on. Now this, because it's plastic and brass, you just want to thread it nicely and make sure it fits nice. When I first went there, it felt like it was cross-threading. If it's not flipping really easy like that, you're probably cross-threaded. Just start over and be more gentle. Now when you get to about here, you'll feel it start, start to tighten up. You just push it until it's vertical like that. Okay, this will go to the auger, so I'm just going to get that out of the way for now. You'll see a red and black clip on here. When you're ready to start treating, you'll clip these on the battery. We won't do that now until we're 100% ready to go. Okay. So, next we'll put these on. Your hose clamp is found available in the bag here. I like to put it on first, then it's just a little bit easier to do the hose clamp. You'll see I put this hose on after this. The reason I do that is it's a lot easier to thread this on without this long three foot hose on. So now this side here, so same thing, we'll apply the Teflon tape to this side. This side doesn't need the 10 wraps simply because um, we're not worried about orientation. It's just a simple nipple, so it'll just go on nicely. Um, again, always put Teflon tape on with the threads in a, the same direction you're going to tighten. That way they won't peel off when you're threading it on. Now this you don't have to get carried away with a pipe wrench or anything like that. You're more likely to hurt something. Just get it on, hand tight, and then just get it nice and snug. If 
if you feel like, well, I, you know, it didn't quite snug up or you want to use a wrench on it, go ahead, you can. Just be careful not to over tighten. So same thing. Like I said, both poses are exactly the same. So suction or discharge really doesn't matter. I'm using a nut driver just to, to speed up time. If you, of course, a flat blade screwdriver will work. They're just normal hose clamps. Try not to over tighten. If you use a nut driver, you could wreck your hose clamps. So this is your 3 8 hose. Um, very important not to cut or tamper this with this. Um, this is what all your charts are based off of. If you shorten it or you put a longer chunk of hose on, then those charts are no longer as accurate. So your hose clamp is in here. Again, I'm using a nut driver. Um, you're more than welcome to use a flat blade screwdriver. It'll work just fine. In your bag is your nozzle. So we're not gonna get carried away today going through all the nozzles and, and that. This is just your simple nozzle valve assembly or assembly that really you'll see on any small state spray or anything like that. Again, push this on. and tighten. As I mentioned, all the charts in the book will tell you what color nozzles. Um, you can see in here we've got multiple gaskets. For an example, I'll just do a brown. So you simply insert the brown into the nozzle. No different than every other nozzle you've used on the farm before. Put your rubber gasket in. and attach. So quite simple. So now that you've got your nozzle and everything attached here, what you want to do, we won't go attach us to the auger right now. You'll see there are holes here. What you'll do is you'll wire that to your auger. Um, you'll In the manual you'll see how to do a proper bushel calculation per minute. So all you're going to do is you're going to take this and insert it in here. You want to go parallel to the throttle plate so the nozzle pattern is spraying this way not across. So just insert like this. You can zip tie that if you like. Um, if you know you're only going to be doing a small job and then you'll be quitting for a while, like for the for a week or so when you want to take it out, you can. You can actually take it out, pop this off, throw it in a can of water, and um, that'll keep everything from getting gummy or gross. And um, there's a diaphragm in here, so you don't have to worry about the hose draining out or anything like that. So I always do recommend if you're going to do anything with that, Make sure you shut off this ball valve so there's no chance that if it does happen to leak or something that it can't, you know, siphon out the, the container or anything like that. Today we've gone through a number of troubleshooting and part of that you're gonna, you may need some parts or some replacement parts. So if you need, if it's something as simple as you break a pump, the, this top cap on the pump or you need a diaphragm replacement, or even something as simple as a switch. Feel free to contact Pattisons, expect the best. It's why we chose them to build and assemble our UCAN 2s. They do top quality work, they're local, and they're based in Lemberg, Saskatchewan. Their busy season is May when your busy season is. They're available to answer the phone and ship you any parts that you need. So thank you. Hopefully we've solved all your problems today. And if you have any other questions, feel free to contact your local Bayer rep or your seed growth specialist.